What's up, fellas? I was just watching the Padres Rockies game last night, and the umping was just horrendous. The strike zone was all over the place. Uh, I saw a few players get just totally screwed by calls that were called strikes when they shouldn't have been, or were clearly over the plate and called balls. Uh, and then, of course, the commentators start talking about just taking the ump completely out of the game. Just wanted to get you guys' thoughts on why you think the umping is especially bad this season and if you think it's going to carry over into the postseason. Uh, thanks for taking my call. Jake sucks. See ya. Dang. I, I mean, has the ump has the umping been necessarily worse? <laughs> Get this call any season. I, I think, think every season you say, wow, the umping has gotten really bad this year. Uh, there's bad umps out there. There's good umps out there. I don't know. Base running's been bad. You like I robo umps, Trev? We were a pro ump pod, at least we have been uh, lately. I go back and forth, and every time I start talking about the game of baseball, all I can think of is don't be a boomer, don't be a boomer, don't be a boomer. Again, I'm kind of a boomer on this. I like the human element. Mm. I like it. I, I like the interaction. Uh, the one thing I will say is it would be cool as like a hitter or a team to have some sort of like pitch challenge flag. If you get rung up on a horse shit strike three call and you could be like, nah, sorry, you know, CB, here's my red flag. We're going to challenge that one. I think that'd be cool. Do you know, because uh, when you're striking out in a big time situation and it's a shit call, you pissed, man. Gets real tricky there. Um, if they can do balls and strikes via robots eventually, you know, they can perfect it. It's not it's not perfected what they tried. I would not be against it. Um, I, I think the umping's been the same as it always is. Like, you know, when it's bad, you notice it. When it's not bad, it's like soundtracks and scores and movies. You, you know. You do, don't, you, do you think they could implement uh, an appeal? Like, where we get together and we say, hey, you get to appeal – Two balls and strikes a game. It's just with the yes. eye test. It's with the overhead cam and with. Do you think that could kind of work? No. Okay. I think yeah, it could. I think if you it's a judgment them. call, like if it's a high or low call, like that depends on how the batter. Like the the rule is like when the batter's ready to swing. So it's not him standing still. It's like there's so many trinkets to like yeah. actually figure. Dude, they already out what, have that technology though. You can go and look if the guy's missed a pitch or not. It's and it's and it's uh, instant. So, like, if you, I think having unlimited challenges doesn't work. But if you did have one or two, and like you're like, dude, big, big part of the game, I could get that pitch back. If you I have that, cool. just use it for every pitch. I see no reason to half-ass that. Well, that's and I think it would that's slow the, the game problem, down way too much if you had it every pitch. I, no, I, I'm saying if you have the ability. He's he went if you have if you're gonna actually use the technology to check the pitches that would take just too long. use it and if just it if it was that robot. good use it but I I do think there's a world where you could use it now and I don't want to compare it to the NFL pass interference rule because they basically Oof. implemented it and then said we're <laughs> we're gonna shove it up your guys butt like Ugh. it's it's not a real thing but I do think you're right I think what teams would need to know what you can actually peel it would have to be really low. To the point that you could look at it and be like, yeah, that's a low pitch. But with the plate in that overhead camera, you can I see. think you can do if there's a gap there. Um, so I think if teams knew that appeal system, because it, it just is a really... Uh, Trev, I agree with you and I love the human nature, but man, when that 1-1 one, one pitch is, is off the plate and gets called a strike and instead of 2-1, you're 1-2. I mean, with the, with the way modern way baseball is played... I mean, that's, that can be the difference in a game so easily. Because then one, two count, you're getting basically three sliders. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it's, it's a all big difference. You have the technology and you use it every pitch or you don't. I, I, you know. But I have an interesting question. Michael K on Yes Network, there was a play where someone slid into third. They came off the base slightly. Mm. And in between, like, their foot hitting it and then their butt landing on it, the glove stayed on. So they reversed the call and called him out, which I think what everyone agrees not in the spirit of replay, but an unaffected consequence of using replay. Michael K said, 
when they review it, they should not be able to re- use slow mo replays, just live time. Mm-hmm. That'll fix all the bang bangs that get wrong, like all the really egregious missed calls. But then you wouldn't have the unaffected consequences. I don't know if I like it or dislike it, but I definitely thought it was an interesting thought process that I hadn't thought of. I don't like it. I mean, I don't like the whole keep your tag on the guy and if he inches off the base after he slides through it, he's out thing because that puts if you if you try to stop on the base as like a base runner, you're gonna get hurt, dude. Like that shit happens where you kind of go past the base. Uh, I think that's like you said, that's an un uh, what did you call it? Unattended consequence. Unattended consequence. Tough word. Intended. For me. Tough. Intended. Unintended. Unintentional consequence. Unintentional. Uh, I don't like that part of it. But if you're, I mean, I don't know, I go back and forth on this all the time. I love the spirit of the game. I want the calls right. But mainly, I think uh, if I was in charge of this, it'd just be big situations. And I don't know how you trim that down. Like two strikes. Mm-hmm. Something like that. I don't know, man. It's it's hard. That's why there hasn't yeah, been. That's why there isn't one. Yeah. Replay's weird. I hate that. I hate that the call on the field holds weight. Right. Like oh, it has to be really bad. To it has to be really like what's the word? Uh, has to be to overturn it. To overturn it, like really. Circ- There's a word they always use. I'm blanking. Substantial out. evidence. So yeah, really substantial or... to overturn it. Why? Right. We're calling his call into question. So why would it hold any weight into the decision yeah. when that's the very thing? It's the where, human element. Like there was the home run with the Cubs. Joe West. Joe West in not the Cubs. The Astros. Um, Astros Mookie. Uh, with Mookie and Joe West called it a home run, but then Joe <laughs> West said, "You know what? I want to review this right. because I don't believe my own call. I don't have <laughs> faith in my own call." And then it got upheld. Right. Because there wasn't enough evidence to overturn the call that Joe West himself said, I don't have any faith in this. Can yeah. we get help me out here? Like, why would that hold any weight? That makes sense to me that the umpire's call holds weight. You know, it's like saying, like, I didn't kill him. And like, well, let's let's go to the evidence. Like, okay, well, you know, we have to believe him because he said he didn't do it. It's like, well, mm-hmm. why would that hold weight when that's the very thing in question? I've never understood that. It's weird. I don't know, man. I don't think, I, again, I don't think there's a perfect solution to that. Because then what do you say? Just make a new call? Just make a new call and say, from the video we watched, but, this is the call. But if it's close enough, then I think, like, fan bases would just get outraged. They like, do at already. Least you, at least you have that. a rule, you know? Well, they do already, Like, though. if we can't tell. But how many times do we get stays. upset by that rule? Oh, yeah. I mean, it sucks, but I just don't think whenever, there's a better answer. Whenever they say... Uh, the call on the field stands. People are pissed. Yeah. Like yeah. If, it's, yeah. if they say confirmed or overturned, yep. great. Yeah. But when it stands, you're just like, that pisses you yeah. off so much. Yeah. 